What's up gorgeous girls and guys, it's Kendra Nicole here and I'm back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be talking about what it's like to date a Gemini. America's favorite, Gemini. <laughs> this is particularly talking about Gemini males, but I feel like Gemini males and women are pretty similar in how they are and trying to understand their reasoning and logic because I feel like that's most people's problem is Gemini is just misunderstood and they're misunderstood because they're always going like this like they don't know what they want one week it's this the next week it's that like can't figure it out but Gemini's are actually really great friends and lovers they're great lovers if you really just work with them are patient with them what the f this bug doesn't get out of here. Gemini's are really great lovers if you're just patient with them and you learn how to grow with them. You know, also communication is big. So if you get with a Gemini that seems to be serious about wanting a commitment and there's things that they might do that might trigger you or you feel like someone in a relationship shouldn't do, communicate with them. Express how they do something and it makes you feel bad or just disrespected however you feel communicate that with the gemini and if they really care about you they're gonna make changes they're gonna do what's necessary in order to keep you in their life and that's any man okay period um but a gemini man typically he's fun he's outgoing if you are like me and a homebody a gemini is great for you because they're gonna take you outside of your comfort zone okay they'll take you to places you've never been they'll get you to get out in public where you don't necessarily typically want to be because you'd rather be alone yeah they're the extrovert to your introvert okay and sometimes we need that um it really helps us grow it doesn't matter if that's not your typical scene or what you stay away from putting yourself in new environments that will help you grow and be better and are challenging are really good for you so um, Gemini's usually make great parents, like they are nurturing, loving, they can be confusing. But overall, especially Gemini men, they make great fathers. They build great strong friendships with their kids and just, they, they're really great at being friends first, okay? That I feel like is what is most important if you're dating a Gemini. Be their friend first so you can understand how they move, how they operate, learn about their past, learn about their patterns, and go from there. But ultimately, they're gonna spoil you when they can if they're a Gemini that's about their bag. I feel like Geminis typically surprise their lovers a lot. Um, and when they mess up, they do their best to try to make it up. So. Yeah, I mean, that's what you can expect from dating a Gemini. From what I heard, <laughs> dating a Gemini being that they're, um, you know, in their mind they're all over the place and they're typically very creative, typically very outspoken. Um, that's another thing about them. Geminis are typically outspoken, so if they feel some type of way, they're going to let you know um, and they're not going to have any cut cards. So if you're doing something shady, I suggest you not in your relationship because they're gonna go off on you and they're gonna make you feel so bad. Like, they can be really, really mean. <laughs> so don't mess up when you're dating a Gemini. But, oh yeah, when it comes to the bedroom, Geminis typically are pretty flexible. They like a bunch of different positions. Um, I'm not gonna say they like to be in control, but they're air signs, so your signs can um what is that word air signs typically can um they're versatile okay so when it comes to the roles in the bedroom things like that they are flexible so whatever you're into they'll be into and vice versa it's all about communication i feel like that's that's the key to all these relationships with all these signs is communication ultimately so that is what it's like dating a Gemini. Let me know if you've dated a Gemini down in the comments below and what your experience was like. And do not tell me all the bad things and how they were the worst sign you ever dated because that's what everybody says. And I feel like we subconsciously program ourselves to think that Gemini is like the worst sign when really, I know a sign that's probably a little bit more worse. But hey, maybe that's just me 
subconsciously programming myself to think that <laughs> Pisces. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Have a great day and see you guys in the next one. Bye.